we put Folk Park Live together to basically tell a story, and it's a story that, that, that the Folk Park already does. We wanted to do it in music because when the mass kind of emigration happened from Ireland to America, what they brought with them was music. And when that music got to this, this great new world, it, it merged with other forms, and we hear it now. We hear it in, in rockabilly and in rock and roll and in country and in bluegrass. I loved the selection of songs that we were able to make and the great artists that we collaborated with. And I feel that the songs covered the full gamut of human emotion, from songs of praise and songs of parting and songs of emigration and songs of love, really, and that it should appeal to a very broad audience because the performers are reinterpreting songs that have been around for hundreds of years. So this is a project we did with the Art Council. We hope that people really go away from the Ulster American Folk Park feeling the emotion of perhaps people originally did. Visitors to Ulster American Folk Park will be able to pick up this beautifully printed trail which contains everything about Folk Park Live and importantly it has QR codes that visitors will be able to walk around, enjoy the experience and use their phone to scan through and, and enjoy the, the online content. The Arts Council of Northern Ireland is delighted to see Folk Park Live launch at the Ulster American Folk Park. It will be enjoyed not only by those who visit the park but by digital audiences. We're very proud to partner with Tourism NI on the Embrace the Place initiative. It's been a tremendous success highlighting so many of our amazing scenic spots and charting the musical journey of immigration. I think we're very lucky in that I, you know, I, I believe we've assembled an amazing showcase of musical talent, you know, from Cahill Hayden through Gareth Dunlop to Roe to Eileen Patterson. I mean, th th I think what, what we've done is, is really illustrate how that music in its traditional form is still so beautiful, it's still so relevant. And with younger artists who can kind of do their interpretations of it, I think it shows that music is still alive. It, it means that story is still alive. And I think that's, you know, that is what we set out to do. Good night and joy be well.